In 1992, a young girl goes out to her family pool one night to retrieve a boat belonging to her terminally ill brother. While trying to get the boat, something in the pool pulls her underwater. In the present day, the Waller family are seeking a new permanent residence after Patriarch Ray Waller has been forced to retire from his baseball career due to illness. They purchase the former residence of the Fuller family. But Ray scratches his hand while working to clear out the pool in the backyard. When the pool maintenance come to inspect it, they reveal that the pool is essentially self-sustaining, taking its water from an underground spring in the area. As he spends more time in the pool as part of his therapy, Ray's illness seems to go into remission. However, his wife Eve becomes concerned at the changes she sees in her husband and their children Izzy and Elliot each report being attacked by something in the pool, as well as the family cat going missing. During a party, the real Todd tells Eve about the Fuller's daughter Rebecca drowning in the pool shortly before Ray seemingly forces a child underwater and almost drowns himself, although this is attributed to a side effect of his illness. Tracking down the Fuller family after learning that there is a long history of disappearances in the house, Eve meets with Kay, Rebecca's mother. Kay explains that the water that now sustains the pool was once part of a healing spring. But in order to use the water someone else must be sacrificed to it. Kay was compelled to sacrifice Rebecca to the pool creature to heal her brother Tommy's illness. Eve is horrified to realize that Ray is now being healed by the pool but it will take Elliot as a sacrifice. Eve returns to the house to find that Ray is being directly controlled by Vintity which traps Elliot in the pool. Eve tries to save her son while as he confronts the entity possessing her father, eventually assaulting him with a baseball bat. Eve manages to retrieve Elliot and is guided to the surface of the pool by Rebecca's spirit. Once back in the garden, Izzy's assault and Elliot's condition help Ray regain control of himself. To stop the entity attacking his children, Ray sacrifices himself to it. Deciding to remain in the house so that no one else falls victim to the entity, Eve, Izzy and Elliot make arrangements for the pool to be filled in to stop such a thing happening again.